North Carolina Representative Trisha Cotham was a staunch pro-abortion Democrat until April of this year, when she switched parties and left all of her deeply held beliefs behind. So who is she? Cotham served in the North Carolina State House from 2007 to 2016, when she made a failed attempt to run for a U.S. House seat. After taking an L, she returned to the State House, winning her 2022 election as a Democrat. She ran on a platform that strongly supported abortion access. In one tweet, Cotham even wrote, quote, Now more than ever, we need leaders who will be unwavering and unapologetic in their support of abortion rights. I'll fight to codify Roe in the NCGA and continue my strong record of defending the right to choose." Unquote. Staying true to her word, just this year, Cotham voted to codify Roe v. Wade. She is still listed as a co-sponsor on the bill. And back in 2015, she discussed her personal abortion story in an argument for safe access. This decision was up to me, my husband, my doctor, and my God. It was not up to any of you in this chamber. Abortion is a deeply personal decision. It should not be a political debate. My womb and my uterus is not up for your political grab. Legislators, you, do not hold shares in my body. So stop trying to manipulate my mind. In the aftermath of her speech, Cotham told Time Magazine that people were flipping her off and even claimed that cars were swerving at her. A Republican colleague called her a baby killer. But now, Cotham is a Republican. It's in large part because she felt bullied, not by the Republicans calling her names and attempting to hit her with their car, but by Democrats, who she claims uh, criticized her on Twitter. I have decided to change my party affiliation, joining the Republican Party, and have been welcomed with open arms by my colleagues. Her party switch turned the North Carolina Republican majority into a supermajority, tipping the scales and possibly opening the floodgates for a potential flurry of right-wing laws. The first was an abortion ban, which Cotham helped craft and was the deciding vote on. The law cuts off access to safe abortions after the 12th week of pregnancy. After getting called out for her hypocrisy, Cotham said that this bill strikes a reasonable balance and represents the middle ground of two extremes. Switching parties is one thing, but changing your position on abortion in a matter of months is another. She has yet to provide an explanation to the voters of the 112th district who voted for a Democrat who vowed to oppose, quote, any attempt to restrict or deny women's basic healthcare needs. Cotham, who described herself on her 2022 campaign site as a champion of LGBTQ plus rights, hugged U.S. Rep. Dan Bishop after she switched parties. Bishop is best known for authoring the 2016 bathroom bill, an anti-trans proposal that forced members of the trans community to use the bathroom corresponding to the gender they were assigned at birth. These are her friends now. While it's unclear if Cotham holds the Guinness World Record for quickest rebrand, it is clear that popularity seems to be the only metric that matters to her. And there's no doubt she'll be getting a big dose of it now that she's proved she doesn't intend to stand by who she was five months ago.